kick back, relax, and enjoy our final match of the night here. Heroic and Outsiders won't be enjoying a single second of it, though. They're going to put their backs to work and put themselves up with a pistol victory. Norbert kicks things off. Down very quick on the trades back. And Shush will try to hold his line back out towards CT Spawn. Flit with a response of a four on three. And Stout continues to engage outside of Jungle with Connector. Gets that kill on Kicker. Yabby also forced away from the CT Spawn. Fame with a kill. Yabby with a trade. Fame's low HP, but still lines up a double, leaving it all to Stout now to clutch. Out towards the top of Connector, there would have been known. Jane playing out from default, just spotting for information. And out about time wasting. Stout is doing some serious damage on the clutch, though. Taps forward, Fame on three, Jame on six, down to the 82. No kit in play though, stalling for time. Gets that shot back on the defuse. Will now hold the line, keep the crosshair held. Fame's got absolutely no utility, no face, no contact. Swing and the headshot gets landed for the Glock. Fame is going to get swung on by Jabby. He's thinking of making that move. Hadeen's all watching the crack angle. Stown does get caught off, and Kicker will react with that. Shush, however, gets his trade. Yabby indeed does find fame. So two standing out for the outsiders, both in towards the A-side in Palace, out in the open. Shush somehow gets more, but despite being flanked by Jane at close quarters, and finally gets domed in by Yabby. So that's a double for him. Now Caden's going to see them crossing past the crack angle and waiting for a definitive shot. A kill to be found and misses it. Yabby and Flit go back and forth. AWP now pressuring in the corner. The thing that they might have escaped out towards the backside, and that might be a mistake. The custom, indeed, kicker drops the bomb. The orb coped up here against the orb of Jame. Trades it back to an even standing. 3v3. They have the bomb information here for Heroic, but they don't have the man advantage with Jame hitting shots like that. Flash forward still cannot see them, but can hear them getting tagged up. Outside, still another that kill and kick out the spray through the Galil headshot found burst back from the shush doing Jane down to 18 points of HP. Stown continues to spray and does get his 2k. Norbert and Fame out. Kick out will fall now a four on two as they've regained control of this. Good composure coming through from Heroic, not over peaking at all. You can see the way the outsiders would try to keep that pressure up towards the top of the stairs towards connector. And as well, when they can get the bomb down, set up the post plant. He's fired upon two individuals, revealed his position overall. Smokes back towards one side of the arches, will ride him a bit more. Cover the blind sprays, allow Kicker a kill with a nade on Norbert. Enables him to fall, shush down on the tray back. Yabby, his back's turned towards one T side player. Kicker can't see him. Jay might be detected, but Stown comes in his backup. Now Jay again here at the van. No scope misses. Yabby puts him out of commission. And they've got a lot of information trying to establish his crossfire. Fame gets away with one. Kadian trying to get up towards Window. Makes it a couple of kills. And even Stown getting into the mix. Shush dropping Jame as well. And with a matter of five odd seconds, everything is falling apart for Outsiders. Now snap your fingers and have the Outsiders capitulate. That's how it works for Kadian, it seems. Wonderful pistol in for them. New SP now caught off. Kanian's going to wait. Teammate engaged upon. Now just going to suppress. Swing out for the triple. What a headshot that was. And this looks perfect right now from Roy. Got the bomb down. Got the player up towards top of connector. You do lose Stown. And now oh. you lose your player towards bench. All the pressure now building on Kanian. One on three for him. The backstab. The rotation cutter. Now cut down himself. The spray onto Flit. Reduced to four HP, but not to death. Get it out towards the apartments instead. Try and spot for some info. Needs to hold strong again. Smokes are coming to cut the rotations off from the market doorway, but Yabby just so far out in the open, dry facing. Molotovs trying to get sent back to Norbert, who swings for the double. May even find the triple to close down. Stown the same, and he just can't get anything done. Flip provides support. Smokes out towards top con and Sniper's Nest. It's bottom con where the CTs will pour out of the three-man crossfire. He's locked in. Flit up close. Spray through Tess. As Yabby takes a trade back and doubles up with the D. That's a bit more like it. Kicker trying to respond. And now Shush gets Jame on the AWP. Four on two. Outsider siphon off one per bomb site. Oh, no. This has got out of hand. Out of hand completely. And now the pace can get charged up towards short. Norbert needs a multi. And that's what he gets. Three kills in fight. They feed him one by one. Got to get Norbert here. Either that or escape connector ASAP. Head of the smoke. Line up for Flit. Knows there's a second player around there somewhere. Molotov might send him packing, but Kicker is a dead man. Flit still trades. Makes it a triple. A quadra, in fact. All down to individuals for the outsiders. And Cadian's left alone to fall to Norbert. Gets his piece of the pie. Or vice versa applies. If outsiders win this next round, Heroic will have nothing to rebuy. A reset on for them, a force invest, which would lead to match point. 
Fifth first man in, spray goes to Ryan Stout, catches the kill, but Fame's looking for three, and he's lined them all up for it. That is disaster for Heroic. What is with it with these multi-frags? We're seeing them again, and it's Fame to step up to the marker. You got Flit and him to be aggressive, to be that dynamic duo, to put pressure right up there towards top mid, and Fame comes through with the lineup. So much damage compounding for those last three individuals. And shush, 1v3, bomb dropped out towards mid. That's a 14 for outsiders. Smokes inbound towards the arches and towards market. Flashing Norbert, forced back. One player out. Yeah, he didn't see him. And that's a kill found for Norbert's double. Two down, five on three. And the bomb's rotated away. It might all still be a ruse, but Tess needs to win this fight. And he just doesn't do it. And the rifle is stepping up when it's necessary. Shush, trying to engage down towards market. Norbert with yet another kill. When you consider the fact that he was out in the open, Kadian, 1v5, might be able to get away with one. Get that bomb down to A, but it's after the fact. This should be 16 for outsiders. Does that have to be a very special clutch from Kadian? Something out of a Disney film, a magical moment. As he looks towards to Flit, who just puts him down and out of this game. 16 on the board for the outsiders to the 12. The heroic scrape together. After that tech pause, it truly turned a disaster as the Danes will not have their promotion. It's all CIS today.